I still have my hardtail. I've been trying to sell it for quite a while, ever since I got my new bike in there, and uh, nobody seems to want it. So I thought I might as well do some work to it, and the first thing I did was bleed the brakes. Back one went well, feels way better than it used to, but uh, front one, Yeah, um, uh, yeah, it's not the best. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean contaminated brakes, get them running beautifully, quietly, and powerful, and just not, you know, you, you don't want oil on your rotors or brake pads. So stick around and I'll show you how to get rid of it. Alright, start by taking your wheel off. On the wheel that's contaminated, of course. It's one thing to sand your brake pads down and give them a new surface, but I have previously done that and not thought about the rotor. That could be contaminated just as easy as uh, the brake pads. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get a rag, put some uh, nail polish remover on there and just do it over and over again till there's no more dirty res residue or anything coming off of the rotor. So you wanna get the rotor nice and clean, it's cleaner. You wanna give it a good solid clean. I'm actually gonna leave it on the bike. Before I do that, I'm gonna take the brake pads out so that as the wheel passes through the caliper, there's no more residue or anything getting on that. So. So hopefully while you're uh, doing this, you should be seeing some residue, dirt, grime coming off onto your rag. I'm not seeing too much, but there is a bit, so that means something is getting cleaned. And after a while, if you just keep doing what you're doing with your same rag, you're just gonna put the dirt that you've taken off back on. So every once in a while, you wanna get a fresh corner of the rag, put some more cleaning stuff on there, and then just do it again with a fresh rag. Now with the brake pads, toothbrush will be handy. What you wanna do before you go sanding off the glazed layer, you wanna clean any dirt off of there. I always just started by sanding it off, but I also saw recently that if you're sanding a dirty brake pad, you're just sanding all the residue and oil into it. So you actually wanna clean it thoroughly before you sand it. And I pour a bit of on there, pour a bit on my brake pads, and then you just wanna scrub away. So now, this brake surface actually looks all right. It actually doesn't look to be too much glaze there, but I'm gonna do a very light sanding, pour a bit more of my stuff on there, face down, make sure you do it evenly. That's one done. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see it on the video. You should be able to. These look like brand new brake pads. I'm super happy with how they turned out. Not glazed, can't see any residue or anything on them, but I mean, I couldn't really see it anyway. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is give this whole piston chamber a good thorough clean out. There might still be a bit of oil in there from when I failed on the brake bleed. And uh, I'm just gonna stick rags in there, do as much as I can, because as I said before, if any water, if you're riding in the wet and the water mixes with the oil, that'll slop it over everything and you'll be back to where you started. So let's give this a good clean out. All right, this is the moment of truth. All done, let's go see if it squeaks. Sped these brakes in a bit. <sighs> well, that's great. I'm gonna take it for a bit more of a ride and hope that it beds in a bit. All right. It worked. As you can see, brakes are stronger than ever. I just did like a front wheel skid, which is pretty cool. Not really, but anyway, I don't know whether it was me ending up sanding down the rotor or I ended up using 
methylated spirits a second time just to do something different. So I don't know, might have been a mixture of doing both, both of those things differently or just the methylated spirits or just the rotor. I don't know, but it's working now. They're nice, powerful brakes and I'm so glad that I figured that problem out. My next step would have been to buy new brake pads and even a new rotor and that would definitely fix it because both of those things wouldn't be contaminated. But I fixed it without doing that and they feel better than ever. So I'm super happy and uh, I'll try not to get oil everywhere next time I bleed brakes. My biggest takeaway from today is definitely don't use nail polish remover because one, that might be the reason it didn't work the first time and two, it just stinks. Like the smell, the smell is still in my hands. I've washed them like twice and like it just, just don't use nail polish remover. Let's just keep that one for its job that it's designed for and uh, use methylated spirits and that will work a lot better. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, haven't already, subscribe to my channel and uh, if you buy this bike, it's got great brakes. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.